All right, so just some precalculus, composite functions. So we're given these two functions. The first one is f of x, and f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 15. The second function is g of x, and we say that g of x is equal to x squared plus 2x. And the first thing we're asked to do is this. This is just some strange notation initially. So f of g, this is not a multiplication sign. It's usually written kind of hollow looking. f of g of x. You're much more likely to see this as f of g of x. The only reason I even show it to you this way is because I've seen it weird places and people are like, what the hell is that? I've never seen it before. It just means this, okay? So if it's f of g of x, just to color code because I know how fabulous that you think it is. So all I'm going to do to find f of g of x, f of g of x, is I'm going to write my f, of, my f of x, right? And then I'm just going to, every place I found x, I'm going to put in my g of x, which is x squared plus 2x. Is that all right? It's 15. That's what I said. Just seeing if you're paying attention. <laughs> and then the opposite would be true also, wouldn't it? So if we had g of f of x, which would look, it could look like g of f of x, knowing that it means g of f of x, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to start with my g function, which is, which was it x squared? Is that right? Plus 2x? Plus 2x. Every place I found that, I'm going to put in this function. And you have to simplify it where you can, Chase. So here, x square root of x minus 15, right? And here is what? Square root of x minus 15 also, right? x minus 15. Can we distribute this 2 into here? No, but what can we do here? The reason I know we can cancel this out because the square root of something is the same as saying that thing to the one-half power, right? And then we would multiply these two, right? This would be x to the m to the nth power, otherwise known as x to the m times n power, right? Does that make sense? Is that good? So we get x minus 15 plus 2 times the quantity square root x minus 15, and that would be a good enough answer for me, okay? Is there a domain issue here? What? There is a domain issue. Domain, x must be what? Must be greater than or equal to 15. Because if it's less than 15, you're going to get a negative number here, aren't you? And you're going to have a domain issue, right? Remember that on even roots, you can't have negative radicands. Yes? Here? Right, you would have to solve that thing out. And you know, it probably solves out. I wish you hadn't brought that up. But here, yeah, you're right. So x squared plus 2x minus 15. What is that? x yeah, plus 5, x minus 3. Right? And then you'd have to do some work here to get that domain value out, wouldn't you? All right? Yeah. Hold on a second. 